Greetings, I am Maleficius, and once again, I'm playing Schism, Mysterious Journey. So last time, well, I solved one puzzle, and then wasted a lot of time trying to solve a puzzle I didn't have the answers to, and I misunderstood another puzzle. Anyway, let's get back to where we were. And actually, this is convenient, being at the living ship, because I was using my practice file to understand this better, and I've actually figured out what I was missing. So, what you're supposed to do is, you get the coordinates from the temple, and you have to adjust them based on the coordinates you get from the tablets in the living ship. The thing that eluded me, though, was a shift in the... an additional shift in the coordinates. So, starting on this side, okay, let's... I've commented that it looks like a clock face, which is kind of accurate. If let's you consider that, although it could also be considered a GPS system, if you consider the outermost ring to be degrees, the middle ring minutes, and the innermost degree ring, uh, innermost ring to be seconds, or possibly hours on the outermost ring, minutes in the middle ring, and seconds in the innermost ring. But yeah. The thing I was forgetting, wasn't realizing, is that shifts in the inner rings are supposed to affect the outer rings. Well, sometimes. Anyway, so we're going to reset this to the coordinates it showed, which was uh, 10 hours and 1 minute and 9 seconds. But based on the tablets, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to add 5 to seconds and 10 to minutes. So adding, starting with seconds, adding 5 from 9 goes to 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So it goes here, but because we went over the 12 position, we need to add, we need to carry the 1 into the minutes. Now we need to add 10 to the minutes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 brings it to 12. So the correct coordinates for this console should be 10 hours, 12 minutes, and 2 seconds. Now on the other console, I think there's a similar shift. Yeah, so the first starting up the degrees or hours was at 3, the minutes at 12, and seconds at 10, or, yeah, 10. Okay, there we go. And on this particular one, we need to add 4 to the second, so it goes 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and again, we have to carry the 1, and we just add 1 to the minutes, bring it to 2, so the corrected coordinates are now 3 hours, 2 minutes, 2 seconds. And that should be the correct coordinates for Matia Zone. Yep, there we go. Sailing sequence. There's also some other stuff we can do in Matia Zone. Specifically relating to the locked doors and the combination code. It's kind of weird. I was feeling a little drained just before starting this, but I'm feeling a bit better now. I guess I caught a second wind. At any rate... So it's interesting, the living ship dock actually puts us out in a part of the zone that, well, we couldn't access previously, but could maybe have done so. I'm not entirely certain whether or not this can actually be accessed before you get the living ship here. I presume it could because of what's here, but... Thank God. You must help us. Marty is not just a defense system, it's a custodian device. The cultural heart of these people. It's just doing the right thing. Matia was meant to bring the Argelins home once the possibility of contamination. That hasn't happened. Some Argelins didn't want to be isolated. They wanted contact with other worlds. 
They found a way to link through to us in this prison zone. We never realized that Mati would now see them as contaminated too. That the whole population is tainted and desperate last resort. The Wanderer isn't a treasure. It may be a doomsday device after all. Matya doesn't seem to understand that we weren't plundering and pillaging, that we were studying, trying to help, trying anything to make contact. It doesn't know that the Argelins wanted one of them. All right, so we learned a bit more that Matya has imprisoned all the people in, and that they were trying to contact the scientists, but now it sees the some of the people it's contaminated too, and so it may actually do the same function. Anyway, we found a cart here, which I think if we yeah we can use these buttons, which don't seem to have any problems right now. But if we switch this to here and then push that button, Actually brings us back to the top of this hill and now I think we can actually use this console to summon the cart but it's convenient because now we're close to the locked door well one of the two of them actually technically we're right at this door which okay yeah is that okay well yeah this one we can't actually adjust the combination lock, it's corroded or something, yes, but you need if you take note of these you'll need to take note of these symbols and then if you just push the button, the door opens. So I could have done this the first time I came to Matia Zone by completely. The forgotten. tracks lead here. It has to be important. I wish I knew what I was looking at. Okay. But yeah, we've gone that door lets us go to the other side of the dam sort of, but we still need to raise these tracks so that we can get the cart over to the Wanderer. And we do that by interfacing with this. So what you have to do with this is you have to make a connection from one side to the other. And you can do that by placing connections between these, I don't know, bolts? Pillars? However, each time you do that, the computer raises a piece to block you. So, you have to be clever about your placement in various positions. And you have to outthink the computer a bit, which can be difficult. Although, uh, can I uh, place it there? Okay, well, what if I put... there and then I move yeah okay and then that works so that raised that track partly and unfortunately it means we have to try it but right, we have to repeat what we just did although it seems to get a bit tougher now track should be permanently locked. Now then, we'll have to unlock the other door, and this is where the device in the prison, the card reading device in the prison room comes into play, because once again, this door has a symbol on it, and these combination locks are locked in position, so if you write them down in that order, then you can use the cards and the reader to figure out the combination lock for the other door, which unfortunately the it wasn't rusted into position, so you have to figure out the combination to get it to work right. Alright. Elevator goes up, and as far as I can tell that I don't know if there's anything that can be done at that level over there. Um but yeah, let's go here. And it's already got the 
the opened card set up. So, you can remember that these sliders can be adjusted. So if you maneuver them so that it's the combination code from left to right, start... Is this right? Oh no, I have the card... Okay, no, I... Okay, this is the card for the one that's locked open. Or fixed open. So, okay, there's the leftmost one at the top. And then... There's the second from the left. Then... Uh, second from the right there. And... Far right. So, you have to remember the positions of these sliders. This one is one to the left, this one's all the way on the right. This one's one to the left in the middle, this one's one to the right in the middle. So if you swap out the cards, and you move the sliders back into position, it gives you a combination for the other door, which is this one on the left, this one's second from the left, this one on one second from the right, and this one on the far right. And of course, my notes said all this, and I could have done the puzzle, I could have just opened the locks beforehand, but I wanted to explain how the decoder works. Which of course means you have to go into Matiani, you have to solve Matiani so you can get the, one of the two code cards you need. I think it was specifically this one, maybe? At any rate. Let's unlock this door. So we have to switch this to that uh, kind of Z-shape. Uh, yeah, there it is. Then we have to switch this second one to the I-shape. Yeah, there it is. Then we have to switch this one. Oh, there it is. And, okay, one. hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Something came up. Anyway, let's open this lock again. So, yeah, we need that S shape, or Z shape, rather. There it is. And the I shape here. And then that shape. And then the S shape. Ah, there it is. And that should open the door. And once again, we have to do this thing. Only this time it starts with one piece already in place, which makes it a little more challenging. But still, if you can now predict the device, if you mess up once, you have to do the whole thing all over again. Uh, up here, maybe? Here? Okay. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I may have messed up. Well, no, maybe not. Um, like I messed this up because I had blocks there and I can't place any more pieces so the track goes back down. Alright. No, um, try that again. place a lot of pieces and make it think you're going away that you're not intending to go in order to make the whole thing work. Okay, 
that should work. Because if he just keeps placing those barriers up, there. And that raises the track. 